Okay, hi, I'm on Fanny. Good morning. Uh, so yesterday, uh, we were talking about or we were discussing the basic concept of sampling. Uh, from the, you, you were just discussing the basic concept, basic differences between an estimator and a sampling uh, and a statistic. So, uh, there were some uh, open ends in yesterday's discussion. So, before we move forward, uh, let's close this up. So, basically, the difference between a uh, sam uh, between an estimator and a statistic is uh, the first similarity. Rather, let uh, uh, I mean, let me start off with the similarity first. So, the basic similarity between an estimator and a statistic is that both of them are estimators. Say for example, so what do I mean by an estimator? An estimator is nothing but a functional form of all the sample points in an observation, in a, in a data set or in a variable. Say for example, if there are uh, 100 observations in a population, from there, I create out a sample which is around 70 observations. Then, uh, for that uh, samples of 70 observations, I calculate the sample mean. Therefore, the sample mean will be the estimator for that sample. So, a, what exactly would be an estimator? An estimator would be the functional form or a representative value of a set of observations. Now, the next thing uh, that we would have is the following. Is it, uh, when we are talking about statistics, the difference between, uh, the, the biggest difference between an estimator and a statistic is that the statistic is an estimator with a distribution attached to it. So, when we are actually doing a set of multiple random samples, we are creating a set of multiple random samples. So, out of that samples, uh, for each sample we are getting a sample mean. And when we are listing them together as a schedule, so you have the samples and you have the respective mean. So what you get is a distribution of those means. So now, instead of saying that for one specific sample, the sample mean is this, now I can look at look at it from a more generic point of view or from a more overall point of view. And I can actually say that, okay, I will be drawing X bar or I will be drawing X bar from a distribution which has so and so value. So, if I have a population, say which follows normal distribution or which is normally distributed, and I'm drawing samples from that population, then it would, then what I can say is that while I'm drawing these observed samples from the normal population, at the same time, I for, for the sample mean for each of these samples can be drawn from another normal distribution which follows so and so parameters. So therefore, sam statistic is nothing but it's a representative value of a random sample. So basically, when you are actually referring to a ran when you are referring to any specific samples, any any sample, the representative uh, a value which is used to represent the overall values of the sample is known as an estimator. Now, when those samples are random samples and you actually have a list of those random samples, you are doing multiple, you are doing the random sampling multiple number of times and you are creating multiple samples, then that estimator uh, for each of the samples and if you are looking at it from overall perspective, then that X bar that we have over there is being drawn from a distribution. It that I mean obtaining a particular value of x star 
subject to the fact that a particular sample is being drawn. Say for example, when uh, we started working with this uh, BP data set, sometimes back we are working with it, right? So we had actually looked out on reading 10 different samples. So, and corresponding to each of these samples, we had a mean. So I'll just open this data. So corresponding to each of these samples, we actually had a mean. Right. So I can say that that sample one that was created, or the sample one that was drawn, had some specific observations. Whose mean was 95.08. Now, conversely, I can say that that getting this value 95.08 is contingent or is dependent on the fact that this sample one containing those specific observations are drawn. So, therefore, getting this 95.08 is exactly a probabilistic phenomenon. Or I can say that the chances of getting 95.08 or getting 95.08 is contingent on the fact that a sample is drawn where the observations are such that the mean adds up to 95.08. So therefore, you always have a probability associated with getting each of these means. Since you have a probability associated with each of these means, therefore I can say that the sample mean that we have or uh, the sample mean that we are actually getting as a part of the sampling process or calculating as a part of representation of the sampling or the other little part of calculating sample is a stochastic value or it's a probabilistic value which is being drawn from a distribution. So if the value of an estimated is being drawn from 